I'm Sydney. And I'm Kendall. And welcome to the, the Sassy, Sassy Sisters, Sisters Show. Show. What did we make? So today we're going to show you guys how to make this super cool, super awesome light up curtain wall thing. That thing. I don't really have a name for it. I should have thought of one. No, no. Light up curtain wall thing. Yay! Let's, Let's get go. started. All right, so the first thing we're going to need to do here is hang up our curtain rod. So I'm just going to be using a stud finder and marking where I want the curtain rod to go on the wall. We don't need instructions. Okay, okay, we needed the instructions. <laughs> Depending on what kind of curtain rod you got, the instructions will be a little bit different, so just go ahead and follow the directions in there. How to scare your dog. on the curtain rod. We ended up using two packets of curtain rings because uh, the curtain was pretty heavy. All right, so first you're going to want to clip the center of your curtain or sheet up, then do the corners, and then fill in the rest of the middle. So all we did was get two unfitted white bed sheets from Target and they were up $10 each. And that's about half the price of the curtains that we found. All right, so these are our icicle lights and you gotta make sure that the light or the cord is not green it's white so it doesn't show through all right so we strung the lights over the curtain rod so they'd be in front of the curtains all right so you'll probably need more than one string of lights like we did here we ended up using two boxes per window and all you do is plug them into the little outlets that come on the end of each one and then continue stringing them up and down until the curtain is full. All right, so now all we have to do is hang up our second sheet in front of the lights. And this is easily done by clipping the sheet onto the same clips as the first sheet was clipped into. Now that we're done hanging everything up, we're going to come back and adjust the light. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, and comment. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Also, if you decide to recreate this super cool DIY, then send us a picture of it. And we'll maybe give you a follow. And thumbs up. Or a favorite. Or a retweet. Or whatever. We'll see you later. So, bye! Bye!